Next.js consists of a client side as well as a server side. So basically this entire thing is one Next.js app. But sometimes actually you have a separate server, a separate backend from your Next.js app. So in this video, I quickly wanna give you an example of how to set that up. So in that case, our server side here in Next.js would be quite a simple and lightweight. This would just basically do some basic things like help with routing, getting data from, let's say, some other server, some other backend, rendering the views, the pages, on the server and sending it to the client, but it's not really gonna do any heavy processing and it's not essentially gonna be a center of managing content. So it's gonna be a lightweight server and you can have many reasons to set things up like that. For example, uh, we can have uh, we can have our separate backend here and this could be, let's say a PHP or Laravel app. That's already one of the benefits of doing of adding another server, which is you can use any language or framework that you want. In Next.js, if you were sticking only to Next.js, well, you have to use JavaScript. Uh, but let's say that you or some people on your team are more familiar with some other language. They can keep using that, right? And this would maybe do some heavy processing, uh, let's say video rendering, right? Really heavy process. I don't want to affect the rest of my Next.js application by doing that on my Next.js server. No, that's a particular task perhaps I want to do on some separate server. And so maybe that needs to be scaled independently, right? Or maybe I'm creating some e-commerce uh, application and I have a huge product catalog that needs to be managed in some way. I may want to do that separately from my Next.js app, right? So I may have a WooCommerce instance, let's say, um, which is a P which is based on WordPress, PHP. So that needs to be a separate, um, but I also want it to be separate because I want to manage that independently of the Next.js app itself. So the Next.js app is just going to be the client side for my e-commerce backend, which is somewhere else, right? And my Next.js app will still pull in data from that WooCommerce backend, let's say, and use that to create the UI. So if I'll show you an example with this uh, project here, let's say we just have a Next.js app with just one page and I'm just gonna display some product data here. This is just some dummy data. So here in my code for that in my Next.js app, I just have a array with some dummy data here and I'm just mapping over that here. Right, so this is in my Next.js app and now what I want is not this dummy data, I actually wanna fetch this data from my separate backend. Let's say I'm using WooCommerce to actually uh, manage my product data as a, my catalog and so on. And by the way, this ha and there are many other reasons for having a separate backend, right? You can also, maybe you wanna service other apps as well, like a mobile app or other other servers. The Next.js app is just one app. Maybe you are a freelancer or agency and your client is already familiar with WooCommerce or they already have a lot of data in their WooCommerce instance and they don't want to let that go right now. They just, it's too, it's too, complex to change that but they may still want to have a modern website built on Next.js that's using a lot of the new app router features and it just needs to consume the data from the WooCommerce. There are so many reasons for having a separate backend. Maybe you're migrating to Next.js, but you still have a backend that you want to keep using for now, right? This is not an exhaustive list. There are so many other reasons. So there's a bunch of reasons essentially for having a separate backend. And so your Next.js server side will just be what, what's called a backend for your front end, basically like a lightweight server. Server. So then let me actually show you how to add a separate backend. All right, so let's say we have a WooCommerce application. So I need a way to host WooCommerce. So in this video, I'm gonna use Cloudways. They are today's sponsor. I had a great time working with their platform so far. They have a really powerful platform. So WordPress, of course, but uh, they, they allow other PHP apps. They allow custom PHP apps, Laravel apps, Magento, WooCommerce. And what I like about Cloudways is you can pick your actual server provider under the hood. So they are actually a digital ocean company. So I can pick a server from digital ocean, but if you like any of these other providers, you can also go with them. So check out Cloudways. You can find a link in the description. All right, so let's say I wanna set up my WooCommerce app. Let me quickly show you how I would do that here. So here in Cloudways in the dashboard, I can create a server and I can immediately specify what type of app I wanna run on that server. So here I just wanna go with a WooCommerce app and I could just give it some name as my server name. All right, so then here I can pick which provider for my server I actually wanna use. Um, I will just go with DigitalOcean. I can pick a server size location where I want, I can click on launch now. All right, now I actually already had our server 
running. So, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna host this particular backend on Cloudwise and I can still host my Next.js application, basically the front end on Vercel, let's say, right? So we can manage these two completely independently from each other. So I have one server here, but I can add multiple applications on one server, right? But we want to go with WooCommerce in this example. So this is one of the nice things. I can manage this completely separately from my Next.js app. But let's quickly log into the admin panel and add some product data so that we can then fetch that from our Next.js application. So here in Cloudways, they give you the credentials uh, right here. So I can just copy this to log into the admin panel. All right, so here I'm logged into the admin panel. Now by default, you always get like a default website with uh, WordPress. So you would get some website like this. So this would be the default uh, client that you would get. Now, in this case, we have our we have our own custom front end with Next.js, right? So we're just going to use WooCommerce here to add products to a catalog. And then we're going to consume that data in our Next.js application. I will just quickly add some. OK, so let's quickly add some data here. I'm selling maybe maybe I'm selling bags. Maybe I'm selling a laptop bag. Uh, I will add a description laptop bag. Right. Okay. And let's say a price of $59. I will publish this one. I will add a new one. Maybe a bag for uh, documents. Right. Let's say a lawyer. This is your bag. $99. And maybe some hiking bag. All right. So my entire product catalog is now here in this WooCommerce instance. Now I want to consume this in my Next.js front end. So WooCommerce and actually WordPress, they offer a REST API. So this is completely hosted, managed here on Cloudwise but we can expose an API so we can still hook into that. So what I can do is I can go to uh, REST API and I need to create an API key. Okay, I will just say this is the first one and the permissions will be read and write. All right, so here I get some keys. Make sure you don't share this with anyone else. I'm gonna add this as environment variables. All right, so I just added these to a .env.local file, I'm calling it WooCommerce consumer key and a secret. In my Next.js application, I don't wanna have this dummy data anymore. I'm going to remove this. I wanna get these products from my WooCommerce instance, WooCommerce instance hosted here on Cloudways completely separately from my Next.js front end. How do I do that? We have a server component here. What you can do is just async away to fetch data. And what's the URL though? Well, the base of the URL is just what is given to us here by Cloudways. I can set up, I can also set up a separate domain if I want here with Cloudways as well, but by default, you're gonna get some URL like this. So it's gonna be something like this. This is gonna be the base URL. Now to actually tap into that REST API, it's gonna be this attached to the URL. Now this will make a request to that instance that we're running on Cloudways, but we do need to authenticate ourselves to prove that we actually should ha have access. So here I'm adding the authorization string like this, uh, just using my environment variables here. So we will get some response that's gonna be in JSON. So here we will parse that to normal JavaScript. All right, let's save here. And you can see when I go back, I see my actual product data here in my Next.js application. You can see this is exactly what I have here, completely managed separately here, a different server, but consuming it, right? What we looked at, consuming it in my Next.js application. So I can still host this Next.js application also separately from hosting this WooCommerce instance. Right, so Cloudways is taking care of my app here. Next.js itself, I can still push this to for sale if I want. Right, by the way, if you get the data from WooCommerce, it's gonna show these HTML tags. I can just quickly replace them like this to get rid of them. So let's actually try pushing this to for sale. I do need to make sure my types here are properly typed. So we're not going to get any errors during the build process. So I will just add some type here. And then actually I will first create a repository here on GitHub. I will just call it like this. I'll keep it private. All right, I just pushed it to GitHub. Now I can go to for sale and import this as my new project. So as the environment variables, I will just copy what I have here and paste that in one go here, and then I will deploy. All right, actually initially I had an error, uh, but I just tried again and second time it worked. I think it just has to get the environment variables uh, correctly. But now you can see, I can go here. My client now is hosted on for sale. It's using the data here from the WooCommerce instance hosted by Cloudways. So now we have a decoupled backend from our Next.js app hosted on two different providers. Uh, which has many benefits, right? In this case, let's say we had a client that really wants to stick to using WooCommerce for 
their product catalog. So this was just a quick example of how you can create that back end for front end in practice. Make sure you check out Cloudways for hosting that separate back end. I had a great time working with their platform so far. They also have some more advanced features here. So for example, Cloudways Autonomous helps you scale up your particular instance when you need it, which is one of the benefits of decoupling because let's say this is getting a lot of load. You can scale this up or down. You can scale it up or down depend independently from the other part of your setup which should be more efficient right i can do many other things here with cloudways i can add staging environments i can add monitoring here with analytics and logs uh, i can manage the domain cron jobs ssl all separately from my next.js app and like i showed you you can pick not just digital ocean although they have been working great for me but maybe you want to stick to some other cloud server provider you can pick those as well right so really great service so check out cloudways you can find a link in the description and i want to thank cloudways for sponsoring this video and i want to thank you for watching hopefully it helps you with your decoupling of your next.js app into a separate backend. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.